Okay, well, welcome to the shop, everybody. It's a Monday, and I've been working on quite a few things. And first up is this. This is the new track board. And I will be putting a video up on how to glass this soon. I'm just waiting on a whole bunch of these tracks to come in through the mail. So once those come in, those will be up and running and pretty cool and I'm also thinking of making a epoxy on track mount only um, I know they have those stick on ones but I hear that the, the adhesive they use isn't sometimes it, it doesn't stick very well so I'm curious as to whether if you were to epoxy on that system how that would turn out so that's just a couple things to kind of keep an eye on and then also related but unrelated is these long boards been kind of taking a swing at them they're pretty cool if anyone's interested let me know because it would be pretty cool to see if anyone's interested and also in that same respect is twin tip kite boards so i make these as well and if someone's interested in those i'm, I'm thinking of a kit version where you just glass up both sides because I've been riding this board right here for years it's really tough a pretty good board in my opinion um, so that's also on the horizon potentially and then these are just all the this is the old kite board I mean foil board right here and these are just all the trials and tribulations that didn't quite make the cut quite literally um, so you can get a Here's the new one compared to the old one. Just gives you an idea. Um, new one's so much better. I can't wait to actually get on it and ride it. So today, as the machine has been cutting wings away, I'm, I'm cutting a whole bunch of the 1500 size wings today. Um, I have a little bit of time as it's going to just kind of think about something new I could, I could work into the system here. And I think it's the stabilizer. So far, my stabilizers have been flat. They're pretty good. Um, you know, I ride them. I like them. A lot of other people ride them. They like them. But I'm thinking uh, just on improving. And I know that a lot of stabilizers have some sort of tip that flares up, which acts as a rudder to give you a little bit of yaw stability and I figure why not give that a try. So I'm giving it a shot. So usually before I dive into Fusion 360, which is my computer modeling program, I kind of briefly mark things out on paper just so I have my bearings straight and I have some basic measurements because it's, it's quite easy to get completely lost or just get things wrong. And then once you start building a model off of some wrong measurements you just get all wrapped up and you eventually start over so I, I just start with a blueprint right here it's roughly the same size I tweaked a few things made it a little bit longer so once I get those basic measurements done I move over into the computer and I start working away um, and this is what I've come up with so far so you see it's got those swept tips which I really like I think this is a good moderate amount not too much, not too little. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll probably come up with a few, probably one that completely comes up to a 90 degree. Just see how that works. Uh, but for now, this is what I'm gonna start with. And so we're the, the head-on view right here. And then this is a side view of it. So a uh, little bit of a square tip. I've been noticing a lot of other foil stabilizers have sort of a square, squareness to them. And then this is the back end view, and so this is the top view, uh, pretty pointy in the front, and then this is the flat spot, which allows it to universally kind of attach to fuselages and gets your bearing straight as far as angle of attack goes. And then, you know, this is a good angle type of view. Come back down here, and we can see that, and then kind of zoom around the whole piece here so the model has turned out pretty good and what you're not seeing is that I'm going to have to find a way to fixture this to the CNC table in order to cut it because 
I can't just cut this out of a piece of wood right now as it is because it'll be completely free. At some point, all the wood will be remo removed around it and then it'll be free and it won't be held down and it'll just kind of fly off of the table. Um, in the past, I did that with some tabs that extended off of the wingtips, but I can't really do that in that situation because my wingtips are flying upwards. So I'm thinking of adding some tabs probably in the middle, maybe even one here going off this direction, one here going off that direction, and maybe just four tabs, small little tabs, kind of right down in this range. And then those are obviously used to hold the piece as it's cut on one side and then flipped and cut on the other. And then you just trim them off when you're done. So I think that's how I might do it. That usually takes a little experimentation. So here's a better example as far as the tabs go. Uh, I also ran a bunch of kite wings earlier, which I'm also probably going to add a little bit of anhedral to, which is the tips going down. But you can see here that these are the tabs I have running off of the tips. And so it's secured with a screw here on the machine. So this gets, I have all this in the way. This gets screwed down and it cuts around it. And then once it's done, you just have to zip this off, cut both of them off, and then it's off to giving the whole wing its final sand. So I need to find a way to use this same technique in that new wing shape without using the tips. Just going to be cutting out some stock and then sizing it and getting it on the machine, running the tool path um, on the program, then putting it in the machine. And this is just an example of some stock. This is actually for a different style longboard that I'm going to try out tonight. It's been gluing up all day today and I'm, I'm going to put it on the machine and cut it out tonight. Um, I'm hoping it goes pretty well. Normally I, I just put in a bunch of crappy wood at first because there's almost... In the past I've made mistakes as far as the computer side goes, but I've been getting better at that so I'm hoping that this one works out because I kind of went with the final wood layup here uh, with more expensive wood. It's really not that expensive as far as wood goes, but it's more expensive than some sort of crappy wood. So that's really all I got today. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll kind of make a follow-up video with how the stabilizer goes. I'm not sure how the heck it's gonna go, but we'll find out. So, yeah, that's all I got.